Hi friends, welcome to Storytime on the Back Porch. I'm meteorologist Lisa Spencer, and with me, as always, my furry friends. This is Lucy, who's very eager for our story today. This is Lila. This is Litzy. Have you ever heard of a holiday on February 2nd every year called Groundhog Day? Oh yeah, it's when a groundhog predicts the weather. Well, the famous groundhog is Punxsutawney Phil. But today we have a storybook about a different groundhog. This is Jeffrey. Jeffrey Groundhog Predicts the Weather by Bruce Kaselniak. In this story, we're going to find out how Jeffrey predicts the weather and ultimately who helps him out with that. Let's take a listen. One morning, after a long winter's nap, Jeffrey Groundhog popped out of his burrow to look for a shadow. It was February 2nd, Groundhog Day. Jeffrey remembered what his mother had told him. If you see your shadow on Groundhog Day, go back to sleep because winter will last six more weeks. If there is no shadow, spring will soon be here. Jeffrey hurried into town to tell the newspaper he had not seen his shadow. So, no shadow and spring is almost here. Is that it? asked Merton Moose. The story ran in the afternoon's Daily Gazette. Within a few days, the weather turned warm, the snow melted, and the ground thawed. Spring had truly sprung. Predicting the weather is easy, said Jeffrey. The following winter, Jeffrey dozed snug as a bug, dreaming groundhog dreams in his warm nest at the bottom of his burrow. Toward the end of January, folks started looking for clues as to what Jeffrey might predict. No, Mrs. Hen, you'll have to wait until February 2nd for Jeffrey's forecast. Yes, Mr. Doc, we'll let everyone know if Jeffrey sees his shadow. As Groundhog Day drew near, television cameras and lights were moved into place around Jeffrey's burrow. This year, everyone would be able to watch the biggest, groundhoggiest Groundhog Day ever. Jeffrey's handsome picture had been popping up all over town. Bright and early on Groundhog Day morning, everyone waited for Jeffrey. Anybody seen that groundhog? One hour passed. Two hours passed. Three hours passed. Yet still no Jeffrey. Jeffrey! Hello, Jeffrey! called Merton. Are you home? Hello, Jeffrey. Where is that groundhog? Jeffrey? Are you down there? <gasps> oh, no! I've overslept, groaned Jeffrey. He flew out of bed, dashed to his door, and made his appearance. Jeffrey! Jeffrey! called Merton. What did you see? Was there a shadow? Uh, I, I don't know, cried Jeffrey. With all the cameras and lights and everybody crowding around, I could hardly see the ground in front of me much less my shadow. Now things were really up in the air weather-wise. Nobody knew whether to bring out the golf clubs or the snow shovel. No one knew whether to wax the skis or the surfboard. And no one had a clue whether to plug in the electric fan or the electric blanket. All weather reports were canceled. No weather reports until Jeffrey makes up his mind. Jeffrey, this is causing major problems, muttered Merton. We need your prediction now. Oh, all right, moaned Jeffrey. I'll have my answer by this afternoon. Hello? Hello? Uh, no, we don't know what he saw. Hello? Hello? No, we don't know what Jeffrey saw. So, Jeffrey, how could you predict that the winter will last six more weeks? asked Rebecca Raccoon. No one was really certain if there's a shadow or not. Did you guess? Uh, no, said Jeffrey. Did you make a study of how weather works? 
asked Sonny Squirrel. Nope, said Jeffrey. To be honest, I called my mom. On Groundhog Day, she always looks for her shadow, too. Whew, sighed Jeffrey. Predicting the weather is very tiring. I better get back to my nest for a nap. And that is exactly what he did. I like that story. Jeffrey is very famous in his town. And did you see who really helped him predict the weather in the end? It was his mother after all. So be listening to see what the groundhog predicts this year. Remember, if he sees his shadow, it's six more weeks of winter. But if he doesn't, spring is just around the corner. If you believe in the legend of the groundhog. We're looking once again at Jeffrey Groundhog Predicts the Weather by Bruce Koselniak. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you'll join us another time for Storytime on the Back Porch. And you can watch anytime by subscribing to our YouTube channel.